13. Yo, what's up, man? What up, baby? Who are you? I'm DJ. Oh, you DJ. Yeah, man. Brian was telling Huge me you was thinking about signing with Nike. I mean, yeah, they're one of my options, man. How you like them? I love them. They put fishing into my sneakers. I saw that, bro. Family that ever since. Dope, Sweet. man. Hey, I'm trying to put turntables on the side of mine. You know what man, I mean? You trying to jam down the court? Oh, you know what it is, man. I got to show you my music, bro. That's special. Hey, I tell you what. You sign with Nike, I'll take you fishing with me. A word? At least I could do. All right, man. I'll think about it. I'll let you know, but I appreciate let me know. you stopping by, man. Yes, sir. For real. Thanks for meeting with us, DJ. Hey, you know, it was tough to uh, squeeze you guys in, but we made it happen. <laughs> Wise guy over here, huh? He's got, like, the perfect personality for a shoe commercial. Yo, 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 y'all looking at the shoe illustrations right now? My God, be fresh hey, in the B. house right here. I mean, hey, this is no, no, I. Hey, hey, B, 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 part of, B, part of this me whole me thing. Run the end. Is like a rough It looks like a homeless person just kind of wandered in off the streets, but she gets that all the time. It's just her thing. She's uh, she's kind of like an emotional support animal I call the shots. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so let's talk about DJ, huh? That's what we're doing here? Right. That is it. Okay. LeBron James. Kevin Durant. Kobe Bryant. Yo, how you gonna name Kobe Bryant third? That's Black Mamba. How you gonna do him dirty? That's too full. B, come on. What? Where we going? Just chill, all right? I'm Let cool. her do the talking. I'm cool. You do the I zipping. I got it under right? control. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. She's a huge Kobe Bryant fan. Who isn't? Actually, I won't tell if you don't. Heard you were a big Mamba fan. Yo, those for me? <laughs> they gonna bless us, sister? I've been Classy on the move. waiting list for three months. <sighs> Paul George, Kyrie Irving, Dirk Nowitzki, that's just on the basketball side. You can't touch us in soccer. You can't touch us in track. You can't touch us in tennis. We are the most influential brand in the world. Can't touch you. Can't touch us. We got the best designers, we got the best shoes, and we signed the best athletes, period. Nike is a global reach, and we think you could be a part of that. We could put you in magazines, TV, radio. When someone's sitting there, waiting for the bus, they're going to look up and see a poster of you wearing our gear and our shoes. We even think you might be the prime athlete to help us launch the new Nike Connect next season, so... Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Let's go! <clears throat> that, uh... That sounds, that sounds acceptable. That's hey, cool. Hey, 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 ain't you supposed to, like, negotiate or something? What, do you want a jersey, too? Yeah, I want a jersey. Lace me up. Head to toe. Why did I ask? I'm sure we can make that happen for you. DJ, I'm gonna get that offer over to Brian in a few days. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video today. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the little Nike cutscene, but I have some bad news out here in these streets, man. So I did accept the little offer that they gave me, but instead of me playing games on my career and answering my phone and text or whatever the case may be from my agent, Nike actually pulled my endorsement. So if you're new to NBA 2K18 and you just got an endorsement, make sure whatever you sign up for, whether it's Nike, Jordan, Adidas, or whoever, make sure that you wear the same sneakers, gear, all of that for park. Pro-Am and uh, my career games funny thing is guys I was wearing Jordans like I'm wearing right now in my park or playground or whatever you want to call it and they literally counted this as faulty additions on my contract like they literally pulled my contract made my contract null and void I'm gonna pop up the text on screen at some point in time just to show you guys the foolery that happened man I just can't believe that this happened to your boy all right, guys, now that I got that off my chest, let's get back to this 2v2 game at the playground. Now, if you guys look at the screen names here, we have Hawkman Flight, Ricky, and we have uh, Johnny Awesome. So, Ricky, last night in my stream, literally asked to play a 1v1. Mind you, he didn't bet me or anything like that. He just asked me to throw a 1v1 down, and he said that he could drop me off. Now, I put this 2v2 gameplay together because... He's exposed. I'm sorry. This is an exposed video as well as the Nike meeting. We're going to expose these shot, whatever, three-point sharp, whatever, build, whatever you want to call them. We're going to expose them, man. Look at this dude jumping like a noob. I'm falling all over the place. Hold up. We need, we need a replay of that, bro. Look at this. Look at this. Ooh, elbow, strawberry, another strawberry. I got up like a champ. <laughs> nah, but Ricky really called me out on my stream. And after we lost all these games in Pro-Am... 
due to the fact that we are not a unit and as a unit we are the reason but i was trying to carry these dudes no backpack and i just decided to put this gameplay together because i had to man but i also wanted to talk to you guys about a couple other things that's going on with 2k such as post patch one everybody knows that everybody's getting less rep for playing online games people are now diverting their energy back to the my career scene also other people are using other exploits to get their overalls up but i did see 190 overall player in the park um, i actually sent them a message on twitter hopefully i ball with him soon and most likely when i do ball with him he'll definitely be higher than the 90 overall as i hit this green hold up now i got a shot maker right a shot creating playmaker right we ain't supposed to be able to hit threes right we ain't supposed to be able to hit greens right oh all right i'm just saying i'm just saying man everybody got their day all right man let me get back to what i was talking about guys so if you are grinding my career if you are grinding my part if you are grinding pro-am if you are grinding anything just grinding nah man you guys definitely want to look back at a couple other videos i have on my channel talking about how to badge hunt without going to the park in a pro-am now pro-am was a big source before the patch a lot of people was getting a lot of points for just doing simple moves like ankle breakers leading the scores getting rebounds kicking it out setting screens hitting long range shots but now that's not the case so like i was saying about people reverting back to my career what i have been doing i'm going to give you guys my potion yes i know a lot of people like oh snap i pop out to give up tape so what i have been doing is i've been playing on five minute quarters i've been playing on pro which is like hall of fame yeah let's talk about it pro feels like hall of fame now i think that there's a bug in the system of course but i think that when we load into a park right when you come from the home menu screen and you load in the park i believe that online park creates a bug for the game difficulty when you go to settings and you want to change the difficulty there's something called online park and i think that that creates a bug for my career because my career is supposed to be set on one thing and it's not supposed to keep switching back and forth between either pro and my park online or hall of fame and park online plus we don't even get any points extra for playing on hall of fame anyway so i wouldn't do it anyway but let's check out this reround real quick hey ricky hand down man down just saying man but definitely guys what i do so simple man i turn it on five minute quarters put it on pro then when i get up by 10 points or down by 10 points in the third quarter i automatically just quit the game ask for my vc either get up out of there or there is an exploit i can't tell you guys about it you're gonna go ahead to have to find it on youtube but when you get up by 10 points man and you just go ahead and do a little something something to get get ahead in the game you know what i'm saying you do what you gotta do even if you gotta throw the game man if you if you've been battling with this team for like the last 20 minutes and you know that nobody's going to be able to go up by 10 because the difficulty is stupid and y'all going to be going through a nail biter all game just throw the game if you have to man by that time i will hope that everybody has an a plus and it's not hard to throw a game all you got to do is ask for a double team and somebody will come over and help another player and then they'll pass to that player and they'll hit a shot and then you just come down on the other end and shoot a ridiculous shot or pass it to somebody with one second left but ricky was pissed when this happened <laughs> took his cookies but that's the easiest way to level up to me guys uh if you're badge hunting you can play on 12 minute quarters and do the same thing and use the same exploit or you can just play the whole game out in 12 minute quarters but what i will say to you guys if you're badge hunting for one specific badge if you keep missing the things that you're hunting for you won't get any points if you're two out of ten for teardropper just know you ain't getting no points for teardropper dog i holla peace y'all subscribe